What you guys got another video here for you on how to clean up Windows 10 and boost the performance of your system. Now, Windows 10 comes with a heap ton of bloatware that you don't need on your system. Now, if you do need some of the features, then by all means, leave them enabled. But most of the time, most of the features that are built into Windows 10, no one uses. And you have to go in and disable all of these manually. That's why debloat scripts have uh, been a savior for a lot of people. So when you go into here, you can see a bunch of settings here with privacy and they've all been enabled by default. Most of this stuff you don't need and you can debloat it. Now, Chris Titus Tech has got a YouTube channel. He's also got a useful script here. Now, I'm not sure if he's created the whole script himself from scratch or whether he's used other people's and made a fork of this script. But either way, it's a, a pretty useful script and it really is useful and easy to use. And I'll show you how to use this script to debloat Windows 10. Now, also, there is another one here. There's quite a few of them online, actually, nowadays, which actually use other people's scripts. And this one has a GUI interface at the beginning and sort of gives you enable disable features. And you can enable and disable singular uh, types of features, or you can just run the whole script and use uh, default settings and it will completely disable all of those in one fell swoop. I'll show you both methods so you can get a good idea of what they do. So here we have the script on the desktop here. I'm going to extract all to uh, the desktop. So it will just create a folder just like this one here. I'm going to open this folder up and we should have some sort of wrapper in here, uh, which allows us to open this up and it will open up the script, which you can then run. So let me go ahead and click on this. You might see Windows protected your PC. That's because it's an unknown publisher. And uh, basically you can choose whether you want to run this or not. If you do want to run it, then just click yes. And you will then get the Windows 10 debloat script. And it's by Free Time Tech. Now it's all broken down into green and red uh, colors. The green is to install third party apps or red is to disable. And on this Windows apps part here, you've got the green area here. And then you've got the red one is to leave alone. So you can choose which one that you want to do. Also, we've got the privacy settings here. This will disable the privacy settings on the green and also enable them on the red. Going on to the security tab here, you can see we have a bunch of other features here. Now you can either select all of these or you can select the ones that uh, interest you to disable or enable. It's that simple. We've got UI, we've got Explorer. We've got a bunch of other uh, tabs up here which you can work your way through. And we've also got server here and pin and also other and other two. And then we've got the output tab, which is what's going to help us output our shell, PowerShell, and also run the PowerShell. If we go to options, you'll see, now looking inside here, you can see there is defaults, minimum, and maximum here. Now the defaults, when you click on it, will just basically put radio buttons in as default settings. And you can add to this if you wish. The maximum doesn't look like it's been preset yet, so it's probably not been... Uh, sort of coded as of yet but you do have the ability to use the default minimum settings here which will also put radio buttons in the ones to disable certain things you can also do these manually and take stuff out that you don't want the script to do and i think that's quite a useful thing so if you want to keep a certain item i.e OneDrive, you can put the radio button in leave alone or you've got uh, any other item that you can put the button into say leave alone now we've created our script here. You can see here, we can save this script if we want and run it or give it to someone else to run or roll this out across other machines. So you could save this and call it whatever you like. Now also what we can do is hit the run PowerShell now, and this will open up the PowerShell window and run the script with the selection of choices that you made in the radio buttons there. So you can see here, it's going along and doing chocolatey and installing a bunch of programs, and it will then go ahead and start to remove uh, certain types of features that you selected as your choice on the script. So you can see here, it's going through the motions and starting to do a bunch of different stuff here. You can see it installed in Notepad++ and a bunch of other things. Now you can disable some of this stuff by using the leave alone or don't install or disable or don't disable enable, and you can go ahead and do all those and choose what you want to do, okay? So basically what that's gonna do is now go ahead and make some other changes to privacy and things of the like. So just run that script just like that. So you can make your own custom type of script 
to enable and disable certain types of features of your choice. So that was the fork of Chris Titus Tech's uh, script here, the bloke script. We can now go over to his website and I'll show you how his works. So basically hit the copy to clipboard here on this little bit of code here. Really nice little way of doing things. If you are a bit of a beginner, you can now right click on the start button and go to Windows PowerShell admin and then open this up and then paste the code in here. You can see it's running as administrator and automatically up will pop up this little box here. So this is the actual script, which you can now choose what you want to install or what you want to disable or enable or whatever it is you want to do with this particular type of script. So it's got quite a few little nice little features and I'm pretty sure that Chris is going to probably add more stuff to it as time goes on. And you can see here, uh, essential tweaks so this will do essential stuff and uh, basically we've got some security stuff here we've got some low we've got some high and default settings and also security updates as well so let's go ahead and do the essential tweaks here and you can see it's going to run the script right there so easy no more hassle and it will basically go out and run the essential tweaks of uh, chris titus tech script and basically disable those features so that operation has been completed and this can literally save you a heap of time when it comes to disabling uh, certain features on Windows 10. Now, what I'd advise you to do is once you've done a fresh install of Windows, you can run all your dbloke script and get rid of all the stuff you don't want, make a load of changes to your Windows 10 operating system, and then I would disable uh, the updates and make it only manual so when you want to update you can update windows manually by clicking on the update button when you want to rather than be forced into stuff so you can see here we can disable uh cortana onedrive we can also uh, make it dark mode if we want to and there's a bunch of other settings on here windows search visual effects and so on so depending on what you want to do this script does have some useful features to it now there's quite a few scripts out there available and some of these have been forks off of other people's scripts, but that really don't matter. As long as you use the method that you want to use, if you're not quite familiar with how PowerShell scripts work, then I think Chris has actually made a script that makes it a lot easier for people to understand what you're actually enabling and disabling and what you want to install and what you don't want to install. So that is just the debloating process. And there's loads of other things you have to go through with Windows 10 because it's a complete uh, nightmare Every single time there's an update, it gets all reset. And every time you reinstall, obviously you have to go through this process and it can be very time consuming. I just wish there was an option to opt out uh, of all of this stuff and then people can enable whatever they want rather than force it on people. But hey, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'll leave all the information in the video description so you can check that out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again. Bye for now.